where did the week go? It's Friday, and if you miss all this week's music news, well, we got it right here. Kanye West is in the news again. Here we go. Kanye West appeared on Allo Mind podcast and admitted this. Also, when you said I hadn't read this book, I actually haven't read any book. Reading is like eating Brussels sprouts for me. Which is good to know considering he started his own school. We're on our third year, but we're leaning into people in industry, schools or systems, politics, uh, cities or systems. The Christian prep school asked parents of children attending Yay's school to sign an NDA, or as they call it, an informal agreement. The school is not yet accredited, but they have reportedly applied for accreditation through the Western Association of Schools and Colleges. What could go wrong? It's the song that's sweeping the nation. Period, uh, period, uh, period, uh, period, uh. And everyone in the music biz is hopping on the remix. TikToker Brit Barbie posted a video of her singing, rapping, say, P-I-P-U-R, uh, and it's subjectively terrible. Rip Barbie. But some really talented artists have duetted it. Chloe. BB Rexa. Baby Tate. And we gotta say, it's pretty good. Got my name up in your mouth, you don't know no better. Don't forget I'm from the South, yeah, I got them headers. If you need a quick Amazon Prime mitt, so pretty, think Versace designed it. She Brit Barbie, I'm a breast doll. I think big bitch, not small. Bad bitch to the front, please. Other hoes to the back wall. That's period. 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 I think the lesson here is to leave it to the professionals. I know that I have a habit of dropping cryptic clues and Easter eggs when giving you information about new music, and I am not here to deny that, but I am here to defy that. Taylor Swift launched a new series Wednesday at midnight called Midnight's Mayhem with me, where the superstar reveals titles to her upcoming Midnight's album due out October 21st. I'm going to be using this technologically advanced device to help me allow fate to decide exactly what track titles I'm going to be announcing and in what order. The singer draws the first ball from the cage and it's track number 13, Taylor's very famous lucky number. She then picks up a red phone and reveals the track's title. Mastermind. Leave it up to Taylor to come up with this very clever way to reveal titles. I found my new favorite TikTok series. Cardi B has a big fan. Look what Beyonce sent me, read it, bitch. Queen B sent Cardi a handwritten note on the cover of one of her Renaissance vinyls. It was so beautiful, so lovely. I'm gonna put it in a glass frame with laser beans on it. Anybody that get my next to it is gonna get electrocuted on my site. B wrote, to Cardi B, hardworking, beautiful, and talented queen. Thank you for always supporting me. Look at the world is sad to stay too hard on me. It's so hard on you. Cardi's been singing Beyonce all over her socials, and I guess Beyonce took notice. And I just want to say thank you so much. I feel so special. He's so hot. He's so perfect. The weekend is dead. Well, at least at Universal Studios Hollywood. Halloween Horror Nights enlisted the help of an A-list musician to bring fear to their guests, and we were at opening night to give you an inside look. If you needed liquid courage for the scary activity, you could head to the After Hours Nightmare Bar, where there were weekend-themed cocktails and snacks, including this concoction that I grabbed that literally had a syringe of blood? I won't ask. And then it was time to enter the weekend's haunted maze, surrounded by Abel's likeness with his music blasting everywhere. And killers were on the loose. We saw the weekend get executed, beheaded, and he's definitely gonna need a makeover after all of this. You can check out the weekend after hours maze at Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Studios Hollywood, September 8th through October 31st. I'm exhausted, but informed. Now make sure you come back next week where we'll keep giving you all your music news. See you Monday. Before we go, Hurricane Fiona has devastated Puerto Rico. If you would like to help the people of Puerto Rico, Billboard suggests making a donation to www.redcross.org donate.